Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters in Christ. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you and the Lord. Praise the living God. So people of God, I wanted to come on and address something. Okay, I believe that this is something that is happening in many of your lives. So the other day I released a word of encouragement and it was concerning how some of God's people were feeling left out or feeling rejected, okay? And so I'm coming on here to elaborate on that as well as to release a prophetic word. But before I get into today's message, people of God, you all know my stance. Don't come to me, go to God. Why? Because I am just the messenger. I am just a vessel, y'all, that the Lord uses to speak what is on his heart. And at the end of the day, it is only God that will have all the answers that you seek. Amen. And the Bible teaches us in 1 John chapter 4 to test the spirit. You all know that as well as to open up your Bibles. Okay, 2 Timothy. So that way when you hear messages like this, all right, when you hear prophetic words, you'll be able to take what you've learned from the Holy Scriptures and weigh it against what you're hearing from somebody. Okay, so this past Thursday or Wednesday, I believe, I posted a word that said something like, I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but you need to know that it is okay to be left out. Why? Because God is protecting you from something that you cannot see. Brothers and sisters, I have a word for those of you that have been feeling like you're being rejected by a certain people, okay? Or you feel like you're being blocked or you feel like you're being left out of certain activities or conversations that you think you should be a part of because of who you are or because of the nature of the connection that you have with the people, right? And based off of what I just said, y'all, what I've learned since I gave my life to Christ back in 2012, as I allowed God to change my lifestyle, change my habits, shape and mold my character and transform my mind, I started to recognize people of God that people just started dropping out of my circle because they were so familiar with the old me that they could not respect or receive the new me in Christ Jesus. Does that make sense y'all? That's why I'm on here today to talk to you and say that oftentimes when people become so familiar with you in a certain season or in your life, they will tend to respond to you based upon who you are during that particular time. But as soon as you shift or as soon as you make changes in your life for the better, that does not exemplify what is familiar to these people that know you during this time, they will respond accordingly. For example, some people will have your best interests in mind and they will be genuinely happy for you for whatever positive changes you have made in your life. But to the contrary, people of God, some of these people will react to you negatively and they will criticize you, okay? Some of them may even take action and gossip about you, slander your name, try to destroy your character behind your back. I've even heard people tell me, you bougie, you think you better than me. There may be other people in your life after you make these changes that may intentionally seek to leave you out of certain activities because they don't like who you've become or because they have formed this false perception of who they think you are. And then you got the people that will just simply reject you and walk away from you because they don't understand who you are. They don't like the new you. Why? Because you no longer look familiar to them. And so for that reason, they get mad. Okay, they become jealous of you. They become envious of you. They get bitter in their hearts, right? They become angry towards you because you are not the person that you used to be. These people literally set out to penalize you just because you decided to walk with God, just because you decided to walk with Jesus, just because you decided to change your life for the better or because you chose to do something different with your life. You chose to pursue your goals and your ambitions. And brothers and sisters, we see this in the workplace, we see this in the church, and we definitely see it in our families. 
and relationships. My God. Now, there are some passages of scripture in the Bible that give us warning of these kinds of situations, brothers and sisters. But the verses that really came to my mind, that really stuck out in my spirit as I was convening with God about this topic, I was led to the book of Matthew. So people of God, If you have your Bibles, please come with me to the book of Matthew chapter 13 verses 53 through 58 because I want to show you something. I want to show you a scenario in which Jesus also experienced being left out or being rejected, right, by the very people that knew him. And so I'm reading from the King James Version. And so the verses say, and when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there. And coming to his hometown, he taught them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said, where did this man get this wisdom in these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all these things and they took offense at him but jesus said to them a prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household and he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief so we see in scripture people of god that Jesus was rejected by the people in his hometown of Nazareth. Why? Because Jesus was familiar to them in that he grew up with them, right? We know that because the scripture says the people asked, is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? So in other words, the people in Nazareth were basically saying to Jesus, who do you think you are? Who are you to come here and teach us something? Who are you to perform these signs and these miracles and these wonders? Because the last time we checked, this is what the people are saying in Nazareth, you grew up with us. Therefore, Your parents, your brothers, your sisters are ordinary people just like we are. And so we see the people of Nazareth outright rejected Jesus because they didn't understand who he was. The people did not understand the mandate. They did not understand the commission or the calling that was on Jesus's life, which was to be the sacrifice, the lamb that would redeem God's people back to himself. My God. And so brothers and sisters, this is the same reason why you have been rejected. This is why you are being left out because the people that are familiar with you, they don't understand your position. They don't understand the new you. They don't understand your spiritual gifts. They don't understand your anointing. They don't understand the calling that is on your life. They don't know where you are headed and they don't even know you like they think they do. You hear what I'm saying? And let me be clear here, people of God. This message does not promote the idea that you just leave or walk away from a person or a relationship because there are differences in opinions or even that you have disagreements because conflict is a part of being in relationship with people in general. And there is a such thing as healthy reconciliation under the right circumstances right? That's not what this is about. We see in the gospels where even though Jesus initially left Nazareth because he was rejected, the word tells us that Jesus went back to Nazareth the second time to tell the people that he was the Messiah, but he was rejected. And as a result, Jesus left. The Bible says he disappeared through the crowd. This word, it is specific to only those situations in which you are being rejected for no apparent reason, or you are intentionally being ostracized or being left out of situations. And there is clear evidence before you that your presence is not wanted. And so the Lord is saying, rather than you allow rejection to discourage your walk with him, to discourage your walk with Christ, to discourage the positive goals that you have set for yourself, it is best to continue continue to move forward, not allowing yourself to be held back by the people who choose not to believe in you 
Amen. So with all that being said, people of God, I hear the spirit of the Lord saying this. God is protecting you from something you cannot see concerning those that are familiar with you because he is getting ready to give you more. He is getting ready to give you something so special and so big that it cannot be shared with those people who have chosen to leave you who have chosen to reject you, who have chosen to leave you out, says the spirit of the Lord. You even have to be okay with leaving your hometown because as Lord Jesus said, a prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household says the spirit of the Lord. I hear the Lord saying, repeat that Shanika, people of God. The Lord says he is protecting you from something you cannot see concerning those people that are familiar with you. Why? Because he's getting ready to give you more. He is getting ready to give you something so special and so big that it cannot be shared with those who have chosen to leave you out. And for this reason, you have to be okay with being rejected by the people that think they know you. You even have to be okay with leaving your hometown. Why? Because the Lord Jesus said, listen, people of God, a prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and his own household, says the spirit of the Lord. So people of God, it is my prayer that you will adopt a mindset that you don't need to be accepted by everybody because not everyone is meant to be in your life in certain seasons in Jesus' name. The Bible says that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And so I pray that God will bring you comfort and peace and that God will mend your hearts concerning those connections that have left you disappointed in Jesus' name. I speak tremendous blessings over your life. And I decree and declare that God will never leave you nor forsake you and that he will be with you for all the rest of your days. In Jesus' holy name, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. Brothers and sisters, I love you. I absolutely love you and I mean it, okay? And I want you all to have a blessed, blessed day, okay?